All right, guys, I'm going to try to keep this one short and sweet, but welcome to your second lesson on Microsoft Word. This is lesson two. Uh, so hopefully you didn't have any trouble with lesson one, which was called getting to know Microsoft Word. If you haven't completed that, you need to go back and complete that first before you actually get into this lesson. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, when you get into your Classcraft account, there'll be a new lesson in here. I haven't posted it yet, but it will be there. And what we're doing today is we're looking at something called text basics. All right, so here's your actual uh, blend space link right here. Uh, for text basics. Your learning goal for this particular assignment, and this is a real easy assignment, is that you'll be able to understand the basics of typing, editing, and organizing text in Microsoft Word. This is basically like an exercise in selecting text. So you're gonna learn like keyboard shortcuts for cut, copy, paste, select all, undo, and redo. And that's pretty much what we're doing. Um, so you can see our vocabulary is exactly what that is. But those are your keyboard shortcuts is what we're gonna be looking at, okay? All right. So students will click on the GCF Learn Free link provided, read through the material, watch the video, and download the practice document on page one. All right, so there's our learning goal, our vocab, and our objective. So here's the video that you're watching right now is in link two. So when I start class today, I'll, I'll have you guys do that and then jump into a uh, document or uh, link two here. Our actual directions are on link number three. Uh, so here you can kind of see text basics, open up the practice document on page one of the GCF free link. Save the document as text basics in your STU or H drive. All right, so let's do that first. GCF Learn Free, that's this link right here, which is link number five. It may change. I think it'll be link number four when you actually view it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this video, which was kind of a mess. And I'll put this one in there. So let's open this up in a new tab. I think I already have it open several times. All right, and here's our practice document that we wanna grab right here, all right? Uh, so make sure it's on your H drive. I'm going to put mine on my desktop for right now um, and just say text basics, save. It's going to download. I'm going to open it up. It's going to open up in protected view. So make sure that at the top of your document, you click enable editing right here. Okay. And you can kind of scroll through it. Um, it is a document that we're basically going to edit. Um, long story short. So I'm going to scoot this off to one side for right now. And then let's go ahead and look at our the rest of our GCF, or the rest of our blend space actions here. All right, so we've got our document. All right, um, if you really look through this, guys, let's take a second to look through this. This is your GCF link uh, for text basics. So for Word 2016, this is kind of like your textbook. I want you guys to think of this document right here as your textbook or this, this website link. All right, so the little introductory video right here, uh, we'll probably watch this in class together. If we don't, it might be your startup today. Um, but basically, you're just basically inserting text, selecting text, moving text, pending text, pasting text. So your insertion point is that little line that appears when you actually click into a document, all right? Um, and there's different ways of actually moving around your insertion point. Most everybody just kind of clicks where they want, and uh, they call it a day. You can also use your arrow keys to move around your insertion point. It's totally up to you. Uh, so selecting text. There's a couple different ways to select text, all right? Uh, you can literally just kind of click and drag. Uh, or you can literally double click to select one word. Um, you can triple click your mouse. So if I double click, it's just gonna select one word. If I triple click, see how it selects entire sentences or paragraphs. Um, or you can just literally click, click and drag your mouse to select something, all right? And that's what it's talking about. Uh, we know how to delete things. We have a delete key. We also have a backspace key. They actually function differently. Um, so if you don't know what they do, one of them deletes text uh, that's in front of them, in front of the insertion point, and one of them deletes text that is behind the insertion point. All right, so be careful. Um, that's all right here for you. That might be a quiz question. That'd be a really good quiz question. <laughs> Hint. Okay. Copying and pasting text. Uh, so this is where your keyboard shortcuts come in. Actually, I think we had one on page one, two for select all, which is control A. Uh, but here's one for copy, control C. Is your keyboard shortcut for copy. Here's your keyboard shortcut for paste, which is control V. Uh, your keyboard shortcut for cut is control X right there. And then we have a keyboard shortcut for undo and redo, which I think is on the next page. All right. Uh, you can also drag and drop text. Instead of cutting and pasting, you can literally just select lines of text, move it, drag it, and drop it. And we're going to do that. All right. So here's your actual, like, you know, this is your actual textbook. Um, so anytime you guys have questions on what the lesson was about, you want to go back to your blend space link and find that GCF tile and you want to click on it. Okay, so let's get into this real quick. Um, I'm already wasting a lot of time. So we're going to insert text. Scroll to page two and place the insertion point at the top of the document and type now introducing. So that's right here. And if you notice when you click at the top, you get this little slanted insertion point. 
we're going to type now introducing dot 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 just like that okay number one done use your arrow keys to move the insertion point <clears throat> to the signature detail plans price and change it to 99.99 a month so insertion points right here we're going to use our arrow keys although it's so much easier to click come on really backspace 99.99 a month okay at the bottom of the document use the drag and drop to move just leave the details to us to the end of the last line so here's just leave the details to us. We're just going to literally select it. We're going to click and drag it. See how I'm dragging my insertion point, and I'm going to drop it right there. Okay. Insert a symbol. At the end of the line you just moved, insert the symbol, the trademark symbol. So there's two different symbols um, that you can insert to say that you own something. One of them is called a trademark symbol. One of them is called a copyright symbol. The copyright symbol is this one. It looks like a little C. Uh, with a circle around it, the trademark literally looks like a little TM, and you've probably seen that little TM all over the place. I used to see them all over like my toys when I was little, and now you probably see them all over like video games and things like that. All right, on the first page, change all the black text to bright green accent for darker 25%. All right, so we have all this black text. We're going to go ahead and start selecting it, holding down control on my keyboard, selecting all of the black text. Um, talk about a pain in the butt though, really. All right, we're gonna go to the home tab and we're gonna try to find font color. So it's this little A with the underline, all right? And you're gonna click the little arrow right next to it and we're gonna try to find something. Black text to bright green accent for darker 25. So bright green accent for darker 25, boom, hit it the first time. So it's really important when you guys are doing colors that you actually hover over the colors to make sure you hit the right one. And this little thing called a screen tip will pop up. See that little box that just popped up that said bright green accent for it's called a screen tip. I'm not clicking anything. It just pops up when you hover over something so that you know you're getting the right color. All right. All right. On the first page, cut the text. Prices may vary depending on blah, blah, blah. Paste the text for the last line of page two. So here's prices may vary depending on, I'm just gonna triple click real quick. I'm gonna cut it, or you can do control X, paste the text on the last line of page two. So right here, we're gonna say paste. Notice how you have three different paste options. This first one says keep source formatting. That means the it'll keep like the color and the size of the text so that you actually cut it out, cut, cut, it, cut it out of. Yeah, it's a word, it's now a word, get used to it, boom. Uh, merge formatting is the other one. Uh, you can kind of see that merge formatting will change my text color. Uh, it doesn't retain the text color, but it does retain the size. And then you have text only, which is literally just like strips it of all formatting. So I'm gonna use the first paste option, all right? Use the snipping tool to insert a picture. Uh, Google a picture of the car of your choice. Uh, click edit, then copy, paste it into your Word. Okay, so we've used the snipping tool before. So the car of my choice, I actually took it off of a couple of you guys. It's the Tesla. Uh, to find your snipping tool, you're going to go to all apps. You're going to go down to accessories. Mine's right here. Yours is probably not. You're going to go down to uh, Windows accessories right here, and you'll find something called a snipping tool. You're literally just going to say new. See how your, your screen just grayed out? You're going to click and drag and just select that picture. When you drop it, it's going to pop up this little window that you can right click on and copy that picture, and we're going to paste it into the upper left-hand corner of page one. Boom. And I'm just gonna resize it a little bit. You don't have to resize it. All right, there we go. Done with that one. Where's my directions? Almost done. All right. Add a page border to the whole document. Settings, box border, blue accent one, one point. Okay, so we're gonna do design tab up here and we're gonna go to page border. So when you open a page border, the first thing that you see is this none setting. So if you don't change that, it won't put in a page border. I don't know why it's there. I don't know what they do with it. You know, when I say design and I say page border, that means I want to put a page border on my document. Why you would want to say none when all it does is literally it doesn't put a page border on your document. I don't know. So we're going to select box right here. These are all your different styles of page borders. And we have different styles. Most of them are pretty ratchet. Uh, you would not want to use most of these, but you have triple lines, you have single lines, you have dotted lines, you have solid lines, uh, you have different colors that we can use, and they want a blue accent one color. Um, turquoise, turquoise, bright green, 
blue accent one. Boom. They want a one point width on that border right there and then say OK. Done. All right, insert a bulleted list. On page two, create a checkmark bulleted list for the car wash details in each, in each wash. Fragrance, windows, inside, out. On page two. My page two is all messed up because of that picture. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit more. There. And now I'm just going to kind of, all right, so I have an extra page. I'm actually just going to press the delete key on my keyboard. Uh, and then backspace it to bring it up. All right, so now I have all this. Now I have this on my page too. Okay, so we want to put a check mark bulleted list for all this stuff right here and this stuff right here. So I'm just going to use control um, to select both of them. I'm going to go to the home tab. Bulleted lists are right here. I'm going to click my drop down because I want the check mark bulleted list. Boom, done. Okay. Uh, when you're done, save your assignment and turn it into a moto. Don't turn it into a moto. We're actually going to use Classcraft. I kind of like Classcraft. Okay, okay. Right, guys, uh, so that's lesson two. That's text basics. And again, it's more or less just about your ways of selecting text. So remember your keyboard shortcuts for copy, paste, select all, undo, and redo. Along with all of our vocab that we had in lesson one, you can kind of guess that this is going to be a big quiz. Um, and we're kind of probably looking at Thursday or maybe Friday for our quiz. Uh, and you're probably looking at about 15 or 20 questions on that quiz. It'll be a big one, all right? We might want to call it a test. Let's not call it a test. It scares me. All right. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Um, all right.